Hello, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? My name is Blades, and I'm here with a tutorial for you guys on Team Fortress 2. Uh, today, we're going to be showing you how to install custom scripts and a custom HUD that combines my input, Stabby's input, Chris's HUD, a whole bunch of things, all for Spy. Uh, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install it today. Uh, this is, I've done two videos on this before, or three videos actually, on installing HUDs and installing scripts. But those are kind of outdated now, and I wanted to do just one final one where I've collected all the stuff into one file for you guys and show you how to configure it to get yourself working with awesome scripts. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and open up Chrome. Uh, right here, or whatever your favorite web browser is, and type in this uh, URL. It's going to be in the description. You'll be able to just click on it, uh, and you'll come to the Mediafire download that I've uploaded for you guys. Uh, and this is a RAR file. So again, you're going to need WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR, uh, go ahead and go to WinRAR's website, RAR Lab, um, downloads, and I think I'll probably put this in the um, uh, in there for you and just gonna download either the 32-bit or the 64-bit um, whichever you want and install that it's really helpful you'll use it I promise a lot um, okay so you're gonna go ahead and download it I already have it downloaded and you're just gonna get this file it's a RAR file okay and we're gonna go ahead and double click to open that and I'll just close that Okay, so we now have um, this RAR file is now opened up in WinRAR, which you have now installed, and you have this little file here. Next, we're going to go ahead off to our computer, the local C drive, program files x86 if you have a 64-bit machine. If not, it'll the rest of it will be just in program files. I have a 64-bit, so I'm going to go into x86. Scroll down until you get to Steam, then go into Steam Apps, and go to Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, and into your custom folder. At which point you're going to take this and paste it in there. Okay? And once you have that done, you should have, you won't have this unused file folder. You will just now have the Blades, HUD, plus script, and the README file, and that will be it. Okay, but now you're going to go ahead and don't click off this video yet because you're not done. Okay, you're not done at all. Um, we now have to configure everything. So you're going to go into that folder right there, go into your CFG, and there's only one file. There's the spy.cfg file. You're going to go ahead and right-click, open with Notepad. Okay. And now you see a whole bunch of stuff. So don't get too overwhelmed, though. It's uh, I'll go over and explain um, how to set everything up to get it working how you want it to work. All right, so first we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. Um, and I think I'll, yeah, I'll have a screenshot for you guys so this makes more sense. Um, here is... Uh, what's called the net graph. Um, so if you've seen videos, and again, there will be a screenshot right now that shows like your ping, it'll show your FPS, uh, your down, your like down speed, up speed, all that stuff. It's pretty helpful if you think you have lag or whatever, if you just uh, want to know your ping and stuff so you can, you know, account for that when you're doing uh, playing spy. Um, then you're going to go ahead and leave this the same leave everything the same except this uh, this key right here is the toggle so right now it's set to backslash so whenever you press backslash it will toggle this on and off so if you have backslash set to something else uh, change this to be whatever oh, that's quite annoying okay yeah fine so you'll stop bugging me okay so um, here we go bind this key so whatever this key is is what will toggle it so if you want it to be like i don't know m or something
put M there or whatever key you want it to toggle. Usually I'd pick an unused key, a key that you don't use at all, because uh, usually you're going to leave this on or off. You're not really going to be toggling it a bunch uh, for the most part. Okay, next we have view model underscore FOV space whatever. I get a lot of crap for this. I have really high FOV. Um, that's just, <laughs> I just like that. That's just my, um, that's my preference is to have really high FOV. Uh, if you don't like it that high, the default, by the way, is 70. So anything higher than 70 is a smaller view model. Uh, anything larger than, or smaller than 70 is a bigger view model. Okay, so that's just, you know, whatever you want it to be. Next move on to my script this is my script it's called the ambassador zoom script um basically what this does is when you press again this key bind it to whatever you want it to be this key will bind whenever you press whatever the key is it will do this script and what this script does is it will zoom in and slow down your sensitivity okay so for this, right here, uh, leave everything, all this, leave this, uh, all this ambassador, all this, leave all that the same. Here, on the sensitivity parts, here you want to put, right here, put um, what your default sensitivity is, uh, and then here you want to put whatever you want it to be when you activate the key. So what this will do, it, it will zoom in on your ambassador and it will slow down your sensitivity and make it easier to get headshots. Because I usually play with incredibly high sensitivity and so having it a low sensitivity uh, when I press the key is really helpful because it slows everything down and it makes it much easier to get a headshot. Um, so that's, that's that. Remember, top number is the number you want it to be when you press the button, and the bottom number is the number you um, your default is. That's really important. And if you don't want sensitivity, uh, you can just delete this bit, the sensitivity part, or you can just make these two numbers the same for whatever your default is. All right, next, moving on, we go to to the crouch jump script. Um, some people like this, some people don't. Basically all it does is make it to where when you press space it both jumps and crouches at the same time. It's pretty useful especially if you're just learning uh, trick stabs like jump stabs. It has one less thing to use to press. I don't really use it anymore but I'll leave that up to you guys if you want to use it. If you don't want to use it just delete it um, and that's it. Next, we've got Stabby's view model script, and this is insanely useful, okay? This is the most useful one by far. Um, so what will happen is here, whenever you shoot with your ambassador, this will make it to where it makes your ambassador view model disappear. If you have auto reload on, this is a must. If you don't have auto reload, um, not really that, you know, necessary, but... Yeah. Okay. So. Here, the only thing you need to mod is right here, there's four binds. Okay? Um, what you want to put in these quotes is, see how it says, equip sap? So put whatever your key is that you um, have set to pull out your sapper. It's, it's going to be two by default. And then here in here, I have mouse 3, which is pressing down on my scroll wheel to bring out my knife. Um, it's by default 3. Um, here is whatever it is to pull out your ambassador, which is by default 1. And here is whatever it is to pull out your mouse. Or not your mouse, sorry. Your uh, invis watch or, you know, air blasting for a pyro or zooming in for a sniper. And that's by default mouse 2. Uh, so change these to whatever they are um whatever the defaults are for equipping your sapper equipping your knife equipping your ambassador and pulling out your watch okay and that's it okay so um that's all you have to change and that should be everything and that is this is this script right here is incredibly useful um it will help you especially if you're in 
spy in competitive TF2. Uh, this is very helpful, especially this script right here, along with the zoom script's pretty helpful, and the FOV and the net graph's really helpful as well. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys and shown you guys what uh, you should, uh, what to do with your scripts. So yeah. All right. Take care, guys. Until next time, peace out.